We have learned that the suspect in last night's fatal shooting spree was using a so-called ghost gun, a firearm that is assembled using a kit without, the, without a serial number to trace it. News 8's Richard Allen has more on the increasing prevalence of these weapons, as well as more on Travis's criminal's past. Well, that's right. This is a growing problem nationwide, including here in San Diego, where the police chief says one in four firearms recovered by police is an untraceable ghost gun. The suspect was taken into custody without further incident, and a 9 millimeter handgun was recovered from the suspect. That suspect, 32-year-old Travis Sureshte, was not using a registered firearm, according to police. It was a ghost gun or unserialized firearm. These unregulated and untraceable firearms are provided through do-it-yourself kits, secured often online with no background check, providing the buyer with all the parts needed to assemble a lethal firearm at home. San Diego Police Chief David Nislight spoke to News 8 about this growing concern earlier this month. That means anybody who's prohibited because of their mental illness or because of prior felony convictions can still purchase a firearm, have it FedExed overnight, and have a gun in their hands the following day. California technically requires ghost gun owners to apply for a serial number, something that is difficult to enforce, leading to a rising number of these unserialized weapons on the streets of San Diego. We've seen a 169% increase in unserialized or ghost guns from from 2020. Just a couple weeks ago, President Biden took executive action to try to crack down on the easy accessibility of ghost guns. Anyone from a criminal to a terrorist can buy this kit in as little as 30 minutes put together a weapon. News 8 has learned that Suresh Day's criminal past centers on firearms. He's currently on probation for a 2019 misdemeanor conviction of carrying a concealed weapon. Following his guilty plea, he was ordered to attend a special firearms program by the court. Court records also show he has an active warrant for his arrest in San Diego County for operating as a security guard without a license. And Suresh Jay now faces far more serious felony charges, one count of first-degree murder and four counts of attempted murder. He's scheduled to be arraigned on Monday, May 3rd.